All right, greetings and salutations. My name is Comic Fire, and welcome back for more Shin Megami Tensei Soul Hackers. You have received my message. Your actions are quite praiseworthy. Oh, thanks. As to where your friends are, they are somewhere on this building's 20th floor. Oh, nice. Thank you. However, I cannot guarantee that they are safe. Well, that's not nice. Demons wandering this place could very well harm them. At any rate, there would be no point in telling you this if I did not expect you to get there. I have high hopes for you. Thanks. After all, I have made preparations for a surprise just for you. Oh. I'll be watching. We're going to have a fun party in the Amami Monolith. Don't think you'll get out of here alive. This is what becomes of those who oppose us. And he just kind of leaves, so I have no idea what becomes of people who oppose us. <laughs> anyway, the Amami Monolith is honestly what I would call the final dungeon in the game. Because there is one after this, but it's significantly easier to get through. So, welcome to, like, the, uh... You know, like, SMTs always have, like, really big-ass final dungeons, like, uh... The Karma Temple in Digital Devil Saga 1, or the Sun in 2. This is the Karma Temple, or the Sun, so to speak. Though not quite as long as the Sun, because Jesus. I think that dungeon went on just a little too long, huh? <laughs> I'm just hiding in a closet. Okay. Nah. Couldn't be that simple. But the name of this one is Backtracking. There is a lot of exploration, backtracking, good stuff to get. Uh, Mudo on. <laughs> so you can see Keynap again. He's got the little scrote faced uh, vulture dealio going on. Yeah, man, you're just having a cool nap. Oh. I wonder what that could be about. Doesn't sound like a bad way to go about things. Anyway, dead again. So, uh, yeah, watch out for Wicker Men. Kootlocks, however, are much easier to handle, even if you don't have one just to talk to. Now, there's treasure in, I believe, the far right one? Yeah. Uh, the one above this, like, uh, towards the northeast side of uh, the first floor. The three little closet arrangement doesn't have any kind of treasures. Don't worry about it. Now, I left this encounter in because I never ran into Kanaloa again, so... I at least wanted you to see this. I would have liked to have ran into it because I would like one on my team. And I guess this guy just pops up, like, everywhere, so... Viewer discretion is advised. I like this guy's hair. What the hell is that hairline? It's not even like an angle thing. He just has a really weird hairline. Though I can dig the whole like not squeaky clean aesthetic. Anyway, don't worry about the second floor. We're gonna have to backtrack here later. Oh, trust me. There's gonna be a lot of backtracking. It might not be a bad idea just to throw on uh, Estoma here, if you're high leveled enough, because you're gonna run into some big boys that'll get you up in level real quick. And it's really not worth worrying about getting Mudowand or Mudolad. Or just get unlucky and just get jumped. I think one enemy here has Stone Bite or some form of stoning you skill. Sure you don't waste your time here? You're putting your friends in danger. Well, I'm trying to get to them, jackass. Unless that was reverse psychology. Ooh. Though, yeah, it's not like you have to climb up each of the 20 floors. You're mostly just going to be jumping. I think, like, the most important floors are going to be, like, 2 and 3 and 19 and 20. Nothing we can do there. So yeah, don't worry about the exclamation points. They're going to be important later, but later isn't right now. Oh. Hmm. 
keep that in mind for later, viewers. That is going to become very important very quickly. However, there's simply nothing we can do. And I would absolutely recommend having, like, a Tetracar and a Makara car and Demon out here, because keeping yourself safe here is going to be the name of the game. It's you! What are you doing here? This isn't what they said would happen. I only took this job because they said you wouldn't come here. Oh, we're famous. Damn it. I missed the meeting because I'm lost in the wrong tower. I get yelled at for using the central section. Ah. You know what? To hell with this. I'm going home. I don't care what you do. Knock yourself out. I will. Thank you. We've done it, guys. We've defeated Phantom. Make liberal use of this healing space, because, uh... I'm editing out a lot of the battles because they're demons we've already seen before, but... Yikes. The encounter right here can be brutal. And not even necessarily just because it's, like, a bad encounter raid. Right? It's just because... There's so much walking to be done in this dungeon that... It eventually, it stands to reason that you're just going to run into a shitload of enemies just because they're there, you know? Anyway, now we have, uh, Girmakala and, uh, Gashadokuros. Girmakala is nothing to worry about. It reflects physical attacks, but what you should really be worrying about is, yeah, Mudo. If those guys aim it at your MC and you don't resist it or reflect it or null it, Sorry, ladies. That'll be the end of that. So just be very careful with them. Because I'm pretty sure that's what uh, makes me lose a little bit later. You can just talk to Volvo here. I don't know if I showed getting Volvo off, but it's just one of the demons where I've used a bunch of... Uh, just like talk fodder demons together that you eventually ended up getting that Volvo. As you can see. Mazanma, Petra's Gunbeam, Dia Rahan. The Dia Rahan is nice, but everything else, eh. What is this place? It looks like a main server room, but we need to find everyone else. Aw, oh, shit. Anyway, edit out walking back there because it takes forever in a goddamn day. What do we have here? We have two Giver Makalas. But do you think I could have one? All you gotta do is compliment them. Giver Makala is very nice to have if you chose uh, fit the physical Manitou path. Because if Giver Makala, since Giver Makala reflects instead of just absorbing or nulling. A lot of the times, uh, if it's just going to straight up attack or not throw, like, almighty type stuff out, uh, that's saving yourself a Tetracarn. You should still always set up a Tetracarn, but it's nice to have demons that do reflect physical for it. And what do we have in here? We have... <gasps> Guys, Six! What are you doing here? What do you think? We're here to rescue you. We found the boy. Stupid kid. Listen, Leader's not the one who tricked you. The truth is... Exposition. He's Luigi. Then that mail from Katapura was all a hoax? Exactly. You fell for the enemy's plan, hook, line... Yeah, surprise, surprise, the guy working for the enemy probably wasn't trustworthy. It's not all lost yet. We're not too late. We can still save Leader and Lunch. Can't leave things like this. Still, if we stay together, it'll take too long. I'll investigate the monoliths R Tower. Can you guys check out the other places? I want those two saved as soon as we can. It's okay with you, right? Yeah. Alright, I'll let you know if I find anything. I'm counting on you. I mean letting you go solo is what kinda got you kidnapped in the first place, but uh whatever. Yeah, if you don't have the back up or sub app at this point, go get it. Terminals are just a little too far apart to be able to reliably, well, be able to rely on them. With all the mudos being chucked out. 
nothing we can do up there yet. I don't know if you can at this very moment, but it might have been a good idea to go back to that uh, exclamation point, but with all the walking we're going to have to do anyway, screw it, don't worry about it. I'd been talking to this guy a lot, but eventually what happens is I kept offering him money and he's like, I'll come back later. And then I kept offering money, he's like, alright, I'll come back later. And now he's just like, screw it, so it's the end of that little uh, plot thread. I don't know, like, what resistances they're packing, so... Who knows if they're any good. I didn't find a use for him. Not every demon has to be useful. Could be good as fusion fodder, but I already have good fusion fodder. <laughs> Palace Athena is all I need for the rest of the game. Not in Amazon. <sighs> a delicious soda. Yeah, no point in that. Oh, you see, we even got yen for that. Man, I wish I could just run into a, a demon on the street and he gives me about $37. Wouldn't that be nice? Like, you're just hanging out with your demon pal and his pal comes up and he's like, Oh, hey, sweet, here's 37 bucks. Don't spend it all in one place. It'd be a weird number to give, but hey, you know, who cur? So it's going to be a pretty similar setup here. We're going to have to go... From the 3rd floor to the 19th to the 20, it is a drag and a half. We get the Debthaw Lance, which is how I assume it's pronounced, and we also leveled up and learned Necroma. And Necroma is a very, very interesting skill, but also very good. The way it works is that if you have a... Because you know how like, we have Sabatoma, which allows Nemissa to just summon demons? with no uh, mag cost. Necroma does a similar thing, except it's only demons of yours that have died and it brings them back as undead. The undead cannot die. However, if they are hit with expel skills or healing skills, they will die again. And then you'd have to re-necroma them. And I didn't realize exactly how amazing that was until a little later on. I think you'll really enjoy it when we get to the finale. Keep that in mind. The Chrome is a very useful skill to have around. And Zeopath Nemissa gets it earlier than the Aji and Bufu paths. To make up for her not getting the instant death skills, she learns, uh... She learns certain skills faster. She learns Necroma... She learns Megiddo, Necroma and Mediorama faster, and then she learns Megadola on top of that, which Aji and Bufu paths do not get. It's not like so fast that it's like, you absolutely would have to just to get these skills, because you fly from level 50 to 60 relatively quick, like in the span of one dungeon. But if you really need the extra help, yeah, getting a couple extra, uh, getting them a few levels earlier probably isn't a half bad idea. And what are you missing out on? Mudo and Hama? Screw it. Give me my skills faster. You! It's homie too! You came to save me? Of course! Such a class. Are you okay? Yeah, I guess. Did Leader tell you to do this? You know, I've had time to cool off and think about things while I've been locked in here. Ratting us out and locking us up doesn't make sense, does it? Digit. Finally get it! It was a leader. You see. Okay. So Luigi. Crap, I can't believe myself. Is leader being held somewhere in here too? That's right. We've already rescued Sid. He's investigating the R Tower now. Damn it. If only I'd believed leader. Hmm, I said 2020. To start. Let's all work together and find him. Alright. We need to find Leader and save him, no matter what. Let's see. If you've got six checking out the R Tower, then I'll look around here in the L Tower. Makes sense. You guys go see if you can find anything suspicious. I'll call you if I find anything. Okay, let's start looking elsewhere. Excelente! Well, now time to break this up, so this dungeon isn't so much of a slog to walk through. Anyways, thank you for watching this episode, and I'll see you guys next time!